So guys, we are going to do now questions for return on investments and residual income. So here we have a question number one. The following selected information is from the financial statement of last, last fiscal year. Maybe it is for your existing investments. So first have a look. What is the question requirement? The company has a cost of capital of 10%. Balance sheet amounts remained constant throughout the year. The company's residual income for the last year was. You have to calculate what? Residual income for the last year. And what was the formula I told you? You have to take first operating income. Operating income where it is given the question directly. Here we have operating profit of how much? 1 million. Please help me with the calculator. From there we will deduct assets value. Multiply by percentage cost of capital percentage, which is how much? 10 percent. Right or wrong? So, assets are where it is given. Here, assets are given 500 plus 200,000. So, it is going to be how much? 750,000 into what? 10 percent. So, here, how much you will get? 75,000. If you will deduct, this is going to give you what? Residual income, okay, and residual income is will be how much? 925,000. Okay, so which is correct option? C. Then we have another question. Yeah. So here we have here another question. We are telling you what is the requirement based on information provided. If the company treats segment W as investment center, so what is the return on investment? Okay, for the last quarter. So how do you, you have a question data now? A company has recently implemented responsibility accounting. Okay, in all seven segments of the company. The following information is available for segment W for the last quarter. So you have to calculate which ratio here? Return on investment. Here you are provided with the net working capital. You are provided with the property, plant, and equipment net. Net means after reduction of their depreciation. So here we are provided with the revenues, cost of sale, and general and administration expense. What is the formula for ROI first? ROI is equal to, you have to take operating profit divided by assets, total assets, or capital employee. As I told you in the lecture, what does mean by total assets in capital employee? Multiply by 100. So first you have to calculate operating profit. Operating profit we can calculate by using this data. Take a revenue. Revenue minus cost of sale. And deduct what? Minus general and administration expense. So this will be equal to what? Operating income. So can you do, can you help me with the calculator? So 8 million. Or you can round in 3 zero, no problem. 8,000 minus 6350 and minus 180, counted in 30. So how much it is? How much? 147. Double zero. So in rounded three values, if you will write this will be a full value, right? Rounded. In rounded three zero, it will be one four seven three. Mm -hmm. Then what you have to divide with the asset. Asset is given here. Net working capital and property, plant and equipment. So you can round in three zero, add these values. So one four, 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 four three seven, seven five and multiply by hundred. This will give you R one. How much it is? 36.6 percent. Okay, now we have is that clear, right? Yes. So it is going to be answer D. So then we have here another question. So based on the following information and required rate of return of what? 12 percent. Okay. Which location has best residual income? You have a two location here, M and D. These are two locations. 
And what we are provided, you are provided with the operating income, investments, intangible depreciation. So intangible means intangible assets, depreciation is also given, but obviously I told you you will use what either assets or you will use capital employment or you will use investments. Mm -hmm. Understood? Investments like assets, it includes tangible, intangible, all. So what you have to calculate, you have to calculate residual income, right? The formula for residual income. What is the formula you will take? Operating okay. income, operating profit, which could be given with the name of earning before, interest and tax. And from there you will deduct whatever you will pay to the investors that is equal to assets value. You can use your capital employed also, whatever is given. Multiply by required rate of return, which is called cost of capital, target return, anything. So that 20, 12% you will multiply. So operating income, first you have to calculate for first option, First option is M. For M, we'll take operating income is how much? 300,000. I'll take 300,000. And this will give you residual income, okay? Residual income. So then asset value is how much? One asset value, investment value, we'll take what? 1 million. Don't take only intangibles here. So 1 million into what percentage? 12 percent. Can you just solve it? We'll give you 120,000. So deduct from 300,000, residual income will be? 180,000. Now calculate for the second investment. Operating income how much? 490,000. And take the investments. Investment value is how much? 275000. 275000 into again which percentage? 12. Can you just solve? 270000 into 12%. 330,000. Just deduct from this 490. 160,000. Tell me what was the question now? Which location has the best residual income? M and D, which is having M is having 180, D is having 160. This is data for M, this is data for D. So M is best, right? So M is giving how much? 180. Clear? Now we have here another question. This is a little tricky question and I'll solve it and I'll help you. Look at the question. I'm so sorry, my list is not fit on screen. So, would you please read the question, guys? Right? Just read it. Okay, first let me read question and help you. They are saying what is the requirement? So which scenario assumes the lowest cost? This is the question. Lowest cost. So now we have to read the question. What is the question exactly? We need to understand and then we'll see which scenario offers you lowest cost. And help me with the calculators. So, <laughs> following for costed information is available for manufacturing division for next year. So, we have here working capital. Working capital means current assets minus current liabilities. Here you have a revenue, here you have a plant and equipment. This is your non-current assets. It means if I will add these two values, this value, this value, this is equal to my total assets. Right? Right or wrong? Yes. It's also called capital employed. Because capital employed is equal to total asset minus planned liabilities. So how much it is going to be? 19,000 I'm doing in 3 zero rounded values. Because it is already in thousands. So it is 19,000. Understood? Okay. Now, to establish a standard of performance for the division's manager using the residual income approach, four scenarios are being considered here. So here what he told you, scenario number one, this is interest cost, cost of capital, target return, opportunity cost of capital, anybody you can use. And this is the residual income is available. 
under scenario number one. For scenario number two, imputed cost is 12% and residual income is available. For scenario number three, at 18%, target residual income is given. Scenario number four, at 10%, target residual income is given. So they are asking you in the which scenario, which scenario is using lowest cost. Now, what it is? Lowest cost means the scenario which is earning more profits. It means there is lower cost, right? Yes. Understood what I'm saying? In ROI, we don't use cost. In ROI, we use operating profit. It means I need to find operating profits oh. under each option. <clears throat> operating profits I need to find. And where I will have highest operating profits, it means my cost I will consider there oh. lowest. Oh. Right or wrong? So residual income approach you have to apply now. You have four scenarios. I'm solving your first scenario. So what is the formula? Uh, formula first write for the residual income. What is the formula? Operating profit minus assets value capital employed into what? Percentage of return. This will give you what residual income. First I'm solving scenario number one. Under scenario number one, residual income is given. How much? Help me now. How much is given? Two million. I, I write in three zero rounded. So it is two thousand. Because this is also in three zero rounded. So now Asset value is how much? Asset value is I know under each option. It didn't tell you anything. It means these are the asset value. How much? 1,000. Uh, sorry, 19,000 in two. In the first scenario, what is the rate of interest? 15 percent. Can you solve? 19,000 into 15 percent. It is giving you how much? 2,850. Now look, can I reach to operating profit value? Yes. Because if I add these two value, it will be equal to operating profit, which is going to be 4, 8, Five zero. Look, four eight five zero minus two eight five zero. It is three thousand. Mm -hmm. Now apply for option two. Same formula. What is my operating income under option two? My operating income is target income is how much? Target income, residual income is how much? One one five zero zero. Again, my asset value is how much? Nineteen thousand. But I'll apply with this percentage now. Twelve percent. It is going to be how much? Two 2,280. So if I'll add these two value, how much it is? 3,780. Look, this is the profit under second option. So calculate for the third option. Third option I'm doing here now. Third option is what? Your target income, residual income is how much? 1, 2, 5, 0. Now I'll take 19,000 into which percentage? 18. Because this is the third option. Try how much? It is 3,420. 3,420. If I add 3,240 plus 1,250, how much is the operating income? 4,000. 4, 4,000? 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, Asset into percentage asset value is how much? 90,000. And if cost of capital is 10 percent, will give you how much? 1,900. If I add these two, it will give you a trading income. How much? 4,000. 4, 4,400. Now tell me where operating income is highest under option number one. So it means if my operating income is highest here, I will assume my cost is lowest here. So which scenario gives you? Lowest cost scenario number one. So what is the option? Yeah. Understood? We have one more question here. So would you please read this question? So here we have a question. They are saying a business unit A has return on investment of how much? 10%. This is R. I, so with the net profit of how much? 40,000. 40, the opportunity cost for the business unit investment has been calculated as 80%. The company, this is now the new information. This is old data, right? Return investment is 10% and this was your profit value. The company plans to purchase a new machine worth how much? 100,000. And expect the net profit be, uh, to rise by how much? 15,000. 15, like if you will buy a new machine worth 100,000, 
So it will increase your profit by 15,000. The new purchase decision will increase the return on investment by which percent? By 11% or increase in resident income by 7%, like which option is correct? So it means you have to calculate first. You have to calculate first. What do you have to calculate? First, you have to calculate what is ROI. So old ROI is given. Old ROI is how much? 10.5. And ROI formula is what? Operating profit divided by assets value or investment value and multiply by 100. Okay, old ROI is given. How much is given? 10%. Old, old profit is also given how much? 40,000. 40, so I can calculate the asset value, right? Right or wrong? Yes. So what is the asset value? Why I am calculating asset value? Because I need assets. In new ROI and in new residual income also. So that's why first I am calculating asset value. What was my old asset value? So old asset value how much? So I can take here. Assets will be equal to what? Operating profit which is? 40,000 40, divided by this ROI which is 10% multiplied by 100. Do you need to multiply with 100? No, you don't want percentage, you want value. So asset value will be how much? Four. You can ignore the signs. Percentage it will be 0 0.1, right? Mm -hmm. Divide it, it will give you how much? 400,000. Can you do a calculator? So you got old asset value. Please help me with the calculator. Is it 400,000? 40,000 divided by 0.1. 400,000. Okay, now I can calculate new, new ROI. Again, I'll apply the formula of ROI. What is the formula of ROI? Operating profit divided by assets. Now, obviously, new ROI should include the effect of investment. My old operating profit was how much? And new investment will give you how much profit? 15. This will be my total profit, including new investment. And now I have to take total assets, including old plus new. Old assets are how much? 400,000 plus new investment is how much is going to be? 100,000. It is given new assets here in the question. So this will give you total ROI now. 440,000 divided by 500,000. How much ROI will be? Into 100. It will be 11%. It means ROI will reach to what? 11%. Now you have to calculate because he is asking what is the increase in residual income also. Increase in residual income in every option is asking increase or decrease, okay? So you have to calculate what it is increasing or decreasing. So residual income, I can just calculate for additional investment directly. So what was the formula for RI? Operating profit minus what? Assets into percentage. This will give you RI. Operating profit of new investment is 15,000. And assets in the new investment is 100. Percentage is how much? 8%. Eight. Eight I'll multiply with 8. 100 into 8, it will give you 8,000. It means my, my RI will increase by what? 7,000. Because incremental, you have to take incremental additional RI, increase in RI. So that's why two, I took incremental profit into incremental assets. Tax percentage, right? So it means which is correct option? A. My ROI will, my return on investment will be 11%. My increase in resident income will be 7,000. Understood? So rest of question you will complete, okay? So thank you so much, guys.